Hello and welcome to Meadow Brown Bakery. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bake these delicious coconut cupcakes. Before we get started, head over to my website, meadowbrownbakery.com. Sign up if you haven't already done so, and then close the page. Go to the courses website where you'll find a list of courses available to buy on my website. When you find the one that you like, you just click on it and you'll be taken to a sales page where there'll be a video telling you more about the course and there'll be a bit more information down the page about what's involved in the course and then you click buy and follow the buying process. So I have some coconut oil in my bowl. The thing about coconut oil is it melts at high temperatures. So sometimes it can be really solid like a butter block or runny or semi runny. Today is the weather is okay. So it's a bit runny and a bit thick as well. So whichever consistent it is, you can bake with it. If you live in cold countries, it's best to buy coconut oil with a lid like this. I've seen some in very thin bottles and it won't come out in winter time. So best to get one with a wide opening like this so that you can get it out easily when the weather is cold. Okay, so in here I've got some coconut oil and I'm going to add some sugar to it. So I've added in my sugar and I'm going to whisk this together for a bit before I add in the eggs. I'm going to add in my eggs one at a time. If you're not very confident with cracking your eggs, just crack them in a bowl. And if you're not sure if your eggs are very fresh, crack them in a bowl and then add them one at a time. I'm going to add in the flour, some desiccated coconut, and then I'll fold it in. This smells amazing. If you like lemons, you can add lemon in here, and then you can make lemon and coconut muffins. But I'm making these just coconut today. Okay, so that's done. And now I'm going to put them in my already prepared cupcake tray. So you get your ice cream scoop, get some of the cake batter. And I need to fill these about three quarters of the way. If I want them to touch the top of the case. Okay. You don't necessarily fill the ice cream scoop it just depends on how much mixture you have and how thick or runny your mixture is so you just need to aim for three quarters okay this will make six and there's a little bit of mixture left if you've got a big cupcake tray which takes um 12 cupcakes you can use an extra one you can use that one for tasting i am baking more cupcakes so i'm going to use some of my mixture in this cupcake tray so nothing is going to go to waste so these are now ready to go in the oven for a few minutes until nice and slightly golden brown on top and well risen okay the coconut cupcakes are ready you can see they're well risen and slightly golden brown on top i'm going to put them on the cooling rack to leave them to cool completely before i decorate them So the coconut cupcakes have cooled down and now I'm going to show you how to decorate them. I'm going to do three simple designs. For this one, I'm going to start on the outside. I'm using American buttercream for this one, but you can use any frosting you like. And for this one, I'm going to pipe them first and then spread it with a knife. So I'm going to just spread this I piped it because I already had piping in the in the piping bag but if you don't have in a piping bag you can just spread it from your bowl it doesn't matter 
And now I'm going to pipe around the edges. This nozzle, I'm just going to move this cupcake to the side. This nozzle is called a Wilton 2D nozzle. It's one of my favorite nozzles. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite nozzle. I'm just going to pipe around like this, okay? And can you see? And this one. So this one I'm going to pipe a rose. So I start in the middle and go all the way around. So you can do so many designs with just one nozzle. I'm not finished. It looks beautiful and really pretty and you could leave them like this but i'm going to add some desiccated coconut on top so i've got some desiccated coconut in here for this one i'll add some right in the middle like that okay this one i'll sprinkle some on top and i will do the same for this rose one Nice, pretty, and simple. Okay, so I'm going to cut one and show you what it looks like inside. I'm going to move these two out of the way. And this one. Look at that. Nice, fluffy, and the smell absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. For more videos like this, visit my website www.meadowbrownbakery.com. Please like and subscribe to my channel.